Hey guys, I've got a problem for us here involving a bucket of water swinging in a circle. So I want to know how fast do you have to swing this bucket so that at the top, when the bucket is perfectly upside down, no water falls out. So you can imagine if you had a bucket of water and you were to just swing it fast enough, there would eventually reach a point where no water would fall out and we can actually describe that with physics. So the reason that this happens is because of something called centripetal acceleration, also known as radial acceleration. And it is quantified by the expression velocity squared over radius. And the most familiar example everyone probably has of this is a roller coaster loop. So at the bottom of a roller coaster, you feel heavy in your seat, right? Like you're being pulled down. That's because you're experiencing not only the usual gravity, but an extra centripetal acceleration because centripetal acceleration always acts directly out of a circle. Centripetal acceleration is present whenever you're moving in a circle or even a partial circle. So when you get to the top, centripetal acceleration is still acting directly out of the circle at the top of this loop, but gravity is still acting straight down as it always does. That's why at the top of a roller coaster loop, you feel nearly weightless because the centripetal acceleration almost cancels out the gravity acceleration. So it, the same principles are going to hold true in this problem. At the bottom here, of course, gravity is always going to be acting straight down. And since we're moving in a circle, centripetal acceleration is also going to be acting straight down since it acts straight out of a circle, right? So I'll abbreviate centripetal acceleration with CA, but we're interested about the top of the circle, right? We want to know about what's going to happen up here so that this water stays in the bucket. So again, up here, gravity is still going to be acting straight down. It always does. But now up here, something interesting happens. Since centripetal acceleration always acts directly out of a circle, it's actually gonna be pulling the bucket up here. So you can imagine if we can get this swinging fast enough so that the centripetal acceleration equals the gravitational acceleration, this water will experience no net acceleration and it'll stay in the bucket. So all we have to do is set centripetal acceleration equal to gravitational acceleration. So we know that centripetal acceleration is equal to V squared over R or velocity squared over R and that has velocity in it, right? So that's what we can solve for to get our answer. And we know that has to equal gravity or 9.8 meters per second squared. So we know our radius we were given that in the problem, it's 0.6 meters. So I'll go ahead and write that in. V squared over 0.6 equals 9.8 meters per second squared. And then what we can do to get V by itself is we'll first multiply both sides by 0.6. And then that'll cancel out. So V squared, and this actually equals 5.88 if you have a calculator. And then what we'll do is we'll take the square root of the V, and then we finally get V equals 2.42 meters per second. So we know we have to be swinging this bucket 2.42 meters per second at least so that the water doesn't spill out of the bucket at the top of the circle. So I hope that made sense. Uh, if you guys have any questions or you're interested in tutoring, please contact me at facebook.com slash tutoring and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot.